The mudwing is hatching. It can't hatch yet. We only have four. Feel free to explain that to the egg. I have it! Webs, that's a rain wing egg. You brainless salamander. It's all I could get. Put it with the others. Quick. The prophecy calls for a sky wing. And you bring us a lazy, stupid rain wing. Queen Scarlet destroyed all these sky wing eggs that would have hatched tonight. And we need five dragons for the prophecy. Look, he's hatched. So, that's a baby mud wing. He's kind of cute. A little blobbier than I expected. He looks dim. Exactly as I expected. We need a mudwing name for him. Yes, something muddy. Very insightful, Dune. He's attacking them! Stop that! Kestrel, what is wrong with him? Nothing. He's just what we need. A little monster. Hello everyone, with a heart here. Whew. Let me tell you, it took me a while to get this video up after a long first week of college. Sure, it was crazy, but it was good times with my friends. And now that I am settled and the classes are sorted, it's time to get this important update video up about many things coming to my channel. Lots of changes, literally. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy this video where we are going to dive into the changes to my channel future teams, and those who really want to know, like, I know you really want to know, updates for the Wings of Fire graphic novel dub. We are going to start first with my channel and its updates. When I first started this channel, I wanted to bring stories to life. And to do that, since I literally can't do this all on my own, I search for people to work with that have the same passion as me, those who love to voice act, and those who love to edit and create a masterpiece for all to enjoy. Like a Perfect chemistry set, even though I hate chemistry. Through these years, I did from audiobooks to PowerPoint animations, tributes, randoms, and so much more. Yet, now I decided that now is the time to take my channel to a more professional level, yet keep the original feel before when I welcomed the idea of creating audiobooks ranging from children's to a bit of a dull theme. So the YouTube interface will be changing, such as new banner, might keep my channel avatar, but more importantly, a likely new YouTube channel name. I know you're probably thinking, what? Yes, yeah, crazy, I know, but changes are a good thing and it is time for a bit of a new change. There will be major changes coming to my main Discord group, where I'll be deleting the original Discord and replacing it with a new Discord. Reason I'm doing this is, well, you know the saying, out with the old and in with the new. Well, really, the thing is, in my other Discord channel, I feel things are a little bit unorganized in there. And um, it hasn't exactly got the TLC kind of my need as I've done, as I'm more focused on my Wings of Fire Discord. And we have a lot of inactives usually in that Discord. So it's time to start with a clean slate since this YouTube channel is going to start with a clean slate and become a look a little more professional. So that's what's going to happen. So I'll be sure to release updates when the new Discord group is made, and of course I'll announce it in my old Discord when the time comes. Now with these changes, there will be finally a YouTube channel trailer. And these trailers are vital to attract new subscribers. And it will summarize pretty much about my um, new YouTube channel and what it's going to look like and such. Now for these changes to happen, it will take a while, and I will not be releasing my, my official YouTube channel trailer, not until after these changes are completed. So enjoy what you see for now. Like literally enjoy it because it's going to be gone. Now to save the important information for last, which I know you're probably thinking in the back of your minds right now, wings of fire, wings of fire, wings of fire, wings of fire. These will get there soon. I promise you. Let's dive into the teams I have planned to create in the future. So you're probably wondering teams, what, what, what teams? Teams I have pretty much, I've had for quite a while actually. The teams like the Wings of Fire, for example. And now, pretty much, I introduce a new team called the Wild Fan Fictional Tales. And this team mainly focuses on the lore story of Blizzard Entertainment game World of Warcraft. 
The game itself has a vast, wonderful stories to tell, from the Caldry to the humans, from the Orcs to the Tarans, and so much more of the events that happened. One of the stories in the works is called The Origins of the Worgen. This will be, in fact, our second project. The first was Simple and Quick, edited by Arthur D2. You can find our first project that we did together down in the links below. Also, if you want to give this guy some love and support, be sure to subscribe to him. Of course, the team is always recruiting, mainly now looking more for writers, mainly writers, artists, animators, voice actors, and much more. If you're interested, there will be links and both in the cast call below and some links to a playlist by my favorite guy, Noble87, who talks about the lore of Warcraft itself, for those who are interested in looking to that stuff. As for the other team, that name is still in the works. For now, I call it the Mystery Box. It's, it's kind of cool, actually, what I have a plan for this one. But this will more likely be the main team in making decisions on stories that are out ranging from books to comic books, kids theme to adult theme. And so this will be very broad and something that will be the main main team. More information for that team when this name is finalized and ready for casting. Though this won't be in the main works until pretty much the Wings of Fire graphic novel dub is completed. Speaking about the Wings of Fire, I'm so glad you're patient now. Let's go right on ahead and dive into the subject about the graphic novel. So, I have many good news to tell, as well as some drawback bad news. I'm going to stick with the bad news first so we can get that out and over with. Originally, I have discussed in my late update of this project that we will be doing parts 1, 2, and 3. However, many of the original editors sadly had to go, and so the team is replaced and we had to go through some stages of meanings, setting roles, and so on and so forth that took quite a bit. So we are just a little bit behind on production. But the good news is these new editors are very professional, and one of them can actually do simple animations. So yes, this comic is going to have some animation, which I'm very excited. I'm very excited, and pretty much I can't wait for you guys to see the results. Because, because of this, as well as others who are going to get into details on making the story appealing to the eye, completing all of part one is going to be taking months. So we decided to simplify it that we'll be doing parts within part one. For example, the Wings of Fire graphic novel dub part one, one of three. That way each scene will get the TLC they need and look professional. Also, we'll give the editors a bit of a breathing space. Reason, again, why we're doing it into small parts is because Scientifically, when it comes to a person watching or listening something, they have a listening span of a max of about 10 to 12 minutes. And most shows you watch when it comes to like animations or comic books, yada yada yada, minimum is usually about 5 minutes to a max of 10 to 12 minutes long. So when we calculated this to a certain part we're going to be stopping at, it should be around the 12 minute mark. Maybe a little bit more, but it should be around there. Now, I bet you're probably wondering, want to know what's up, what's up with the group, and if there's any um, cool updates. Well, I'm so glad you asked, because the soundtrack is coming very nicely, so I want to give a huge shout out to my composers. We have some of the original ones with us, and we have some new composers with us. Thank you guys so much for your time, and your patience, and your energy into getting these music in. Oh, so happy for you guys. Hmm. I couldn't be do, I couldn't do any of this without y'all. So, woo! Their links and such will be down um, when the actual movie's out. So that way you can go give them support. You know, give them some love. But that won't be until when the official project is up. So pretty much we're in the ninety-five plus percent range of music completed, and so we plan to do. We have the soundtrack out between uh, three to four weeks out before around the time we get the um, teaser trailer out, and then the main trailer a week to a couple of days, mainly a week, till the actual project comes out. Yee! So I am really, really excited. With that plus editing, it will take time again, and we hope that this part one, one of three, should be out around mid to late fall. Depending how things go, 
we may get this out early and have more parts out to have all part one completed all within the fall. But then again, it depends if anything happens. Hopefully we won't get any issues. All in all, there's going to be many changes, two big comics coming out this fall, and I'm really excited to be releasing amazing content to you all. If you are new to the channel and want to see more or possibly want to help us out in future teams, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get early announcements about new videos. Take care now and stay cool. Like, literally, stay cool because it's hot outside. Oh, wait, you're hot! Ah! Anyway, have a good day, y'all.